Welcome to quarter two, week two, which is all about prime factorization. Good day. Hi, I'm Teacher Divina V. Raimundo, and I am here to guide you on writing a given number as a product of prime factors. I am here to guide you about prime factorization, but if you have questions, you can contact your advisor. Before we go to prime factorization, let us review prime and composite numbers. Prime numbers. It is a natural number that has only two factors, one and the number itself. Look at examples. The factors of 3 are 1 and 3. The factors of 11 are 1 and 11. Here, you can see these numbers have only two factors, 1 and the number itself. 1 and 11 are called prime numbers. Now, let's move on to composite numbers. It is a natural number that has more than two factors. Look at examples. The factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. The factors of 14 are 1, 2, 7, and 14. The factors of 20 are 1, 2, 5, 10, 20. 6, 14, and 20 are called composite numbers. Remember, 1 is neither a prime or composite number. 2 is the only even prime number. Now, let's move on to our main topic. What is prime factorization? It's a way of expressing or writing a number as a product of its prime factors. Prime factorization by building a factor tree. In this method, we break up the number into its factors, continuing the process till we get all the factors as a prime numbers. Now, let's try prime factorization. For example, find prime factorization of 24. 24 can be broken down into many pairs of factors. All you do is think of any two numbers that will multiply to give 24. I am using red number for prime and blue for a composite number. Let us start with 3 times 8. If you remember the multiplication table, 3 times 8 is equal to 24. We are now starting building a factor 3. 3 is a prime number, so we are left with composite number which is 8. So the next thing you're going to do is to think again of any two numbers that will multiply to give 8. 2 times 4 is equals to 8. 2 is a prime number, so again, we are left with composite number, which is 4. Now, let's look at the 4. Do we have two numbers that can be multiplied to give us 4? Of course we have. 2 times 2 is equals to 4. So, if you look at the factor 3, it is already done because at the bottom, we already have the prime numbers as factors. We have 2, 2, 2. So, what multiplies together to get 2? The only way that can be multiplied together to give us 2 is 1 times 2. There's nothing else that can be multiplied. In other words, 
Number 2 is so small that there is nothing really that can multiply together to give us 2 except 1 times 2. We have also 3. The bottom of these branches is 3. The only two numbers that can be multiplied together to give you 3 is 1 times 3. So the prime factorization of 24 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. 2 times 2 is equals to 4 times 2 is 8 times 3 is equals to 24. Multiplying the prime factors will lead you back to the given number. So the steps we follow to get the prime factorization of 24 are Step 1. We write the given number as a pair of its factors. Step 2. We continue the process till we get all the factors that are prime numbers. And lastly, we write the numbers as the product of its prime factors in ascending order. So we are done at this point and we don't keep building the factor 3 if we get already the prime factors. We build the factor 3 going down every branch, continuing writing down that multiplies together until we get the point where we get down to a low number that we just can find new factors other than number 1 and the number itself. Example number 2. Find prime factorization of 40. We will write down 40. Think of any two numbers that will multiply to give 40. 4 times 10 is equals to 40. Let's continue the process till we get all the factors that are prime numbers. 4 and 10 are composite numbers. So think again of numbers that can be multiplied to give 4 and 10. So 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 5 is equal to 10. Our factor 3 is already done because if you look at the bottom of the branches are all prime factors. So we have 2, 2, 2. What multiplies together to get 2? The only way that can be multiplied together to give us 2 is 1 times 2. We have also 5 which is a prime number. And the only way that can be multiplied together to give us 5 is 1 times 5. Now, let's write the numbers as the product of its prime factors. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2, 8 times 5 is equals to 40. Let's try another set of pairs in finding the prime factorization of 40. Think of another pair that will multiply to give 40. 5 times 8 is equals to 40. Let's continue the process till we get all the factors that are prime numbers. 5 is a prime number. We are left with 8, which is a composite number. So think again of numbers that can be multiplied to give 8. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 is a prime number, while 4 is a composite number. So let's split up 4. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Our factor 3 is already done because if you look at the bottom of the branches, 
all our prime factors. So we have 2, 2, 2, and 5. So if you will notice, even I start and choose a different set of starting numbers on set B, it will always end up with the same prime factors. On your activity 1 entitled My Prime Factors, you are going to write the prime factors of the given number. Example for your activity 1 is to write the prime factors of 16. To know the prime factors of 16, we should build a factor tree. Let's write down 16. Think of any two numbers that will multiply to give 16. We have 4 times 4. 4 are composite numbers, so we need to split it up to get the prime numbers. 2 times 2 is equals to 4. 2 times 2 is equals to 4. So we are done building the factor tree. We have 2, 2, 2, 2 as our prime factors. Now let's write it. We have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Again, the prime factors of 16 are 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. I think you are ready now to do your activity 1. let's move on on your activity 2 entitled find my match you are going to match the number in column a to its prime factor in column b you will write your answer on the blank example for your activity 2 is you need to find the prime factor that matches 99 to know the prime factors of 99 we should build a factor tree let's write down 99 Think of any two numbers that will multiply to give 99. We have 11 times 9. 11 is a prime number and 9 is a composite number. So we need to split it up 9 to get the prime numbers. So we have 3 times 3 to get 9. 11, 3, and 3 are all prime factors of 99. Now, let's find the prime factors of 99 in column B. So, the prime factor that matches 99 is letter B. I think you are ready now for your activity number 2. For your last activity entitled Complete My Factor Tree, you are going to find the factors of a given number. Example for your activity is to find the factors of 60. To know the factors of 60, we should build a factor tree. Think of any two numbers that will multiply to give 60. We have 2 times 30. 2 is a prime number and 30 is a composite number, so we need to split 30. We have 2 times 15 to get 30. 2 is a prime number and 15 is a composite number, so we need to split 15. We have 3 times 5. So we are done building the factor tree. Now let's write the prime factors of 60. We have 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 equals to 60. 
I think you are ready now for your activity 3. I hope you enjoy our lesson today. Again, I am Teacher Davina. Thank you and God bless.